Hello, lovely viewers. Thanks so much for being part of this our sewing tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn basic neck cutting. We are going to learn how to cut basic neck like round neck, V neck, sweetheart neck, square neck. We are going to learn these basics. And so please get your papers ready while we learn. But before then, I want to beg you to subscribe to my YouTube account if you have not yet done so and share the video. Someone might need it just as you also need it and also one more information if you learn anything please take a picture of it and send it to my facebook page max fashion line max fashion line send it there so that i can look at it and then we'll make corrections let's learn and do this together let me know you are learning thanks for doing that so we are going into our lesson i have some papers here we are going to use to learn the basic neck shape i have my scissors i have my pen i have my straight ruler i have my curves also here and my tape measure we are going to learn it okay we are not using anybody's measurement for it with this we are going to use the standard uh, measurements the standard we have standard measurements when it comes to sewing so that's what we are going to so this is your neck deep this is your neck width neck deep neck width so we are going to measure the standard for neck width is three and a half and so you are going to use three and a half three three and a half so three and a half is the standard that's what you are using then we come to the neck deep the neck deep to the standard is three but you can decide to go deeper than that or not depending on the effect you want to achieve but instead of using three we are going to use four we are making a round neck we are making a round neck a round neck so four then you are going to join this line together and this one too we'll measure four here make sure your measurement is accurate you measure four then we'll join the lines together we are making round neck please so you draw your line to meet this one then you draw another line we have a lot of neck shapes but this are bases and as a beginner you need to know the bases before you can go to there so this is what you 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 we have done for we are going to make our round neck and we are going to use this curve to make our round it's very important that when you are drawing you use curves it makes your work very perfect and neat yes you can use your hand you can come in like this half inch or one inch like this and then use your hand to follow make sure it goes through the line very well follow and then you get it like this but if you have a, a curve use the curve and so we'll place our curve here remember we are making round neck and so you place our curve here when you look at this point you can see that the curve is not exactly on the line we need to get it exactly on the line so so that we don't end up cutting a different shape so it should be on the line as you so this is it then you draw from here you draw you draw and so this is our round neck but if you are using your hand you can go in one inch one inch and draw a line here and then follow through but it's always best to use a curve so we are going to cut through and see our shape So this is 
our round shape. As you can see, we have a perfect shape because of the curve we used. We have a perfect shape. Okay, we are going to cut another shape. We are going to cut square, which is very easy. We are going to cut square. Square, and so we are using a neck width of the standard that is 3.5. 3.5 we are using 3.5 for this and then we will use 4 for the neck depth neck depth okay 4 measure 4 also here then we join so we have it this way then you cut it just like that you are not drawing anything again because the shape you are looking for is square. So make sure you don't go that deep. So this is your square shape. You have your square shape. Neatly drawn and cut we are going to do a v-neck so we are still using the standard three and a half and then the neck depth we are still using four for it we are using four so after this you are going to decide you are going to draw the next the, the v so all that you need to do is to connect this point to this this way then you have your v-neck So you connect it this way you have your v-neck after this i'm going to show you another v-neck which is not really straight okay and so you cut it through so this is our v-neck we have our v-neck meat now we are going to do another v-neck which is not straight as this one or our v-neck which is not straight so we are going to use this curve to draw the v-neck okay and so we are not going to get it exactly straight as you want as the other one we're not going to get it exactly straight as the other one to curve a little So you can see it's it's curve even though the curve is not that much you can use this also to get the curve very well so that it will be different from the other one so so we have this we are going to cut the second one So this is it more like vein but not really vein and it's also you can't call it u2 because u goes in a bit not pointed like this and so this is more like v but not really v and this is the straight v hope you, you, you can see the difference okay so we are going to cut sweetheart neck three and out Three and a half, then we we'll mark four. But with the sweetheart neck shape, the middle here goes in a bit. We are not going to mark four. We are not going to mark four. We are going to make it six. We are going to mark the neck depth six, so that we can get the shape, the the sweetheart shape very well. And so we are going to make it six instead of four. Then we'll measure six also here. 
That is to say, whenever you are cutting a sweetheart's neck and the actual neck measurement you are using for the neck depth is, let's say, is six. Because you are cutting a sweetheart and you need to get the shape very well, you can go in deep eight. Since you can add two inches to eight so that you can get the shape very well. If not, if you don't do it that way, you finish cutting your sweetheart's neck and you realize that the neck is a bit up for you the way you don't really want it so if it's a sweetheart neck and the actual neck depth you are using is six for the sweetheart purpose add two to it and make it eight so by the time you finish drawing you will get it exactly the way you want it and so we are going to join our lines this is the two inches and um, this is the shape for the sweetheart neck now you we are going to draw it this way to meet the points here and so we'll use this curve place it here how do you want your sweetheart you will say it you will place the curve here if you are good at using your hands fine you can do free hand sketch but if not please use a curve want to get the sweetheart very well so let me let it go in a bit so that I can get a love shape very well and so this way then you draw so we are done this way we'll cut it Sweetheart neck, sweetheart neck, sweetheart neck. This is not off shoulder. If it's off shoulder dress, like we'll cut here and you'll see the love very well. So this is our sweetheart neck shape. But we are going to cut another shape of sweetheart neck. We are going to cut another shape of sweetheart neck. And this time around, the neck depth, we are not going to use 3.5 because we want to get the shape very well we are going to use four we are going to use four we are going to use four and we are going to use six here six at the neck depth and four at the neck width six here okay then we will draw the lines Okay, so with this, we are not going to use the curve to draw. We are going to use freehand to draw the way you want the shape to be. So I am not good at drawing, so pardon me, I'll try. Mm -hmm. So we are going to draw to know the way, according to the way you want the shape to be so we have it this way okay so we are going to cut through and compare it to the other one so this is it this is a bit wider than this and this one you can see the shape very well sweetheart neckline and these are the shapes we made the other shapes so let's bear in mind and learn it. Let's look at them. This is our round shape. This is our square shape. This is our V shape. And the second V shape, which looks like you, but not you. This is our sweetheart neck. And this is our second sweetheart neck. So these are basic neck. And cutting that you need to know as a beginner there are a lot of necklines but you need to know these ones as a beginner so please 
practice this and take a picture send it to my page my facebook page max fashion line max fashion line on facebook and then i will look at it then we'll all learn this together share the video and please subscribe thanks and god bless you bye bye Thank you.